So after sitting in an hour of traffic coming out of the airport, it is 5.30, so it's terrible rush hour traffic. Uh, I called my friend Nick, and I was like, yo, Nick, what are you doing? He was like, I'm, I'm good with the mall, dude. I'm gonna return some pants and exchange some things. And so the mall is like halfway to my house, which is great, so I'm just gonna stop off there and chill till the traffic dies off. You may remember Nick, his name is Nick the Stub. You may remember him from when I broke his arm arm wrestling. Uh, or when we went to Florida or a few other times. So after like 20 minutes of driving around this mall trying to park next to Nick, he's giving me the worst directions. I finally found him. He's over here waiting outside like he's waiting on his mom to pick him up. Yo, Nick. You waiting on your mom? <laughs> what a noob. Nick bought size 33 pants and he can't even fit them so he's exchanging them. <laughs> So I was over here making fun of Nick for going up in size and then I went to try on some shorts and it turns out I'm a 34 too. Yeah, jokes on uh, jokes. As we're here talking about how much weight we've gained, Nick's like, let's go get a frozen yogurt. That's a great idea. Just look at him go. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I think you should get a little more. No, dude. You gotta watch my weight. <laughs> you are. Live life to the fullest. Yes. I would love a lot of Look at this tub. Nick's over here messing with the showers. Hit it, Nick. Whoa, turbo jet. Cross stream. No worries. Okay, hit it, Nick. Oh, I love that. Right. You got steam insurance, John? You want them to smell good? Just hit one of these buttons. That interior place was so cool. They gave you free coffee and cheese and grapes, and you just look at awesome appliances and showers and everything. That's one of my favorite places I've ever been to. I could spend hours in there. Now me and Nick are going to head over to somewhere by his place to grab a drink and chill. And that's it. Look at the size of that steeple. You can see it from a mile away. That thing looks like an origami swan. It's Texas size origami swan style steeple. We've been here for like 20 minutes waiting on someone to acknowledge our existence. But in the meantime, we keep moving up and getting better and better tables. So that part's awesome. We're now right on the edge. Nick's showing me his latest wizard attack. <laughs> I'm seeing a Ferris wheel off in the distance. I want to go check it out. Nick decided that his bed was better off in the living room. Which I agree with. <laughs> Yeah. Nick decided that he would look best with a yellow bow, and now he's embarrassed about it, but a second ago he was pretty excited. Leave me alone. Nick, what happened? <laughs> so we came out to eat at Kane's Chicken. It's super windy, but there's like a thousand people in here. It's late night, Kane's night. <laughs> Nick's first cane experience ever. <laughs> About to blow. So when Candy stays here, she stays in my room. And I went to get in my bed and I found this. Aww. So I am incredibly super busy today and for the next few days. Just off the top of my head, I have to learn a bunch of songs uh, for church tomorrow. Easter services start, so I'll be singing at all those. Gotta do my taxes, figure out how to shoot a video and record one of our new family band songs next week. I'm editing three videos at the moment, the two Project 48 vlogs and working on the actual music video for one of the Project 48 songs. And that's just off the top of my head, so I've got a ton of things going on. And right now I have to take my grandfather to the doctor right here in the middle of my day. I have not eaten and it's almost three o'clock. So that's my life. And then my brother's trying to get me to go to this party thing tonight for one of his friend's companies. It's like, I'm gonna have to shower for that and that's gonna take time. And so, whew, just a lot of things going on. And then we leave these for 12 to 14 minutes until the bottom is turned gold. Hi there, I'm Robin. You are watching Accent Help. 
<laughs> Grandpa's about to get his ear looked at by this big mm -hmm. old thing. <laughs> so we finally got out of the doctor after like 10 hours and then the car wouldn't start so we had to push start it. <laughs> And now I need to get gas, my gas light's on, but I can't go stop at the gas station because then I know it won't start. So I decided to take the truck to the shop right now because my grandpa's truck's ready to be picked up. But I had to go to the gas station and I was gonna just not turn the truck off when I got there, but then I was on the phone and so I get there and I forget not to turn the truck off and then I had to push start it again by myself at the gas station and then I haven't eaten all day. So now my thigh is cramping been quite a frustrating day. Uh, I still have so much left to do. Just pulled up to the shop about to drop this car off and go eat at IHOP with my dad. I'm about to score one of these guys. Now I'm driving this enormous monster truck. It's very much larger than I am. Larger than my dad's truck for sure. Oh. Jack let me see your huge chocolate size of my space. Mm. Uh, we're all sitting around the living room being fat and lazy, so we decided to go for our once a year run. Yeah, right, I've been running Family so run. We just got back from running. We're dead. Literally dead. I'm dying. I'm <laughs> dead, dead has a cramp. Man down, he doesn't want me to show you his tummy. No, 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 don't. <laughs> so I'll just get his face. Messed <laughs> it up and cramped it all over. <laughs> Just reviewing my songs for choice service. I gotta be up there at 11.30 a.m., which is one hour from now. About to have some breakfast. Cruising on over to the church at my grandpa's monster truck. For big services like that, they had these TVs so we can fit people on the side. So they can see what's going on the stage. And then the stage. Whoa. We got a baseball theme going this year, apparently. Got a new setup where the strings are behind the middle. Then you look at this place and say to me, stop fighting me, fight. It's already built. And I am redeemed. We're having lunch time and then we're gonna do a full run through and then the first service. No intruders. It turns out it was only snack time, so I just got some sweets. Go get it. Getting a little, whoa, getting a little work done backstage. Did you hear what I said? I said getting a well little. What? That's a cool case. All right, y'all ready to go? That was punched. Right, didn't they do a, uh, Let's roll it. Let's ride. Fun fact about this guy, Bob, he did all the music for Barney way back in the day. When it mattered. When it mattered. it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Take like that, Barney. This guy just landed from space. Here we have Steve Irwin. Right? Alright. This is Mike. This is Michael. He's got a band. What's your band called? It's, it's called um, New Weave Nation. New Weave Nation. Mike and the Mechanics. Mike and the Mechanics. Yeah, that's it. Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Now it's dinner time. Here we have Jared Hurd. You heard? He's a teaching pastor here, although oh, most good. of the time it's me teaching him stuff. Do we not take a picture? Is this like a... No, this is a vlog. Oh, this is for a vlog. This is for a vlog. Who takes pictures? <laughs> Who selfies with a full-size camera? I thought maybe somebody did these days. How are you? Hey, Madeline. I like your New York shirt. Hanging out know, with the fam. Here's my grandma. This is my dad's mom. Grandpa, where you at? This is my grandpa, my dad's dad. Grandpa. This is Uncle Daniel. Grandpa's trying to get this grease from hamburgers. It's in the shape of a t-shirt. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Look at Jay wearing his Jay jacket. Ooh. 
case you didn't know who he was. There's some little cousins. What is like a daddy? Is it a riddle? I don't know. What is it? We say a joke. A joke is like a daddy. Oh, your daddy's a joke. I get it. Ah, total burn. What goes between a microphone? It's a joke because it's nothing. That's the joke. You're making jokes. These two planes just cross right by each other. There you go. So yesterday I drop off the green car at the shop because it's not starting and then I pick up this truck from my grandpa that wasn't starting because someone had broken the ignition. So I picked this up. I've been driving all day and now it's nighttime and I go to turn the lights on and it has no lights. I drive without lights all the time. It's actually not a big deal. <laughs> Tell that to the cops. <laughs> Driving with no lights, can't see a thing. I can see perfectly. You cannot.